Yo, this is kind of just how to make one of those classic synth sounds, um, an fm -y kind of key sound. So what we need is some kind of FM synth. I'm going to use Phase 4. You can use Ableton's Operator or Vital, Faceband, whatever. And basically what we're going to need to do, it's quite a simple idea. We just need to map this to the mod amount. So basically to the FM amount. And then we get this kind of downward attack slope. And this way we can, if we just bring in some FM here, Let's maybe find some more. Just a bit shorter, maybe. Easy metallic kind of keys. You'll need to spend a bit more time to get this to actually sound nice. Let's maybe do that quickly, just so. Yeah, you get also in the bass, um, if you play this in bass octaves, you get this kind of deep house sound. Both are kind of based on that kind of filter womp that uh, comes from modulating the FM amounts. Let's maybe bring in a second envelope that's really short and that's just really there for transients. So we can kind of, I don't know, use use this thing here. Uh, so make this envelope really short. Kind of add in our transient here. So this is how you would go about creating all sorts of roll Z sound. You can then use something like expressions and velocity to maybe map that to the ADSR amount and maybe to this this length or something and also maybe a bit to the sustain here or something like that. Sounds really nice if you add some resonators and stuff afterwards as well. But this is kind of the basic patch. It's always quite fun to play because um, if you have this velocity, it's a bit responsive and it's sort of a nice kind of key sound. And the same principle is also used for using something like sna snare fundamental. So like you could kind of shape this envelope a bit. Add some noise to that and you've got a snare. So yeah, FME kind of donk, just modulating the FM amount, very simple stuff, very useful. <laughs>